Hello, I will discuss about synthesis and characterization of graphene quantum dot silicon carbon nanomaterial composites. We synthesize the composites using nanostructure the silicon to overcome volume expansion and the hydroxyl attached GTDs to play a bridging role between the silicon particles. To increase the overall conductivity, we added carbon nanomaterials. And then we compare the physical properties of the synthesized GQD silicon CNFs and GQD silicon CNTs to each other. To fabricate the OH GQDs, we combine the pyrene and nitric acid and reflux the mixture. After filtration and drying, we obtain the 136 trinitropyrene. Then we dispersed it into sodium hydroxide solution and went into hydrothermal process. Finally, we could obtain OH GQDs and confirm the quantum confinement effect using UV light. To synthesize the final composites, we use the piranha solution to make silicon hydrophilic. To the hydrophilic silicon particle, we added polydatmac to make the particle surface positively charged. Then, using electrostating attraction, we combine the OH GQDs with positively charged silicon particle. Through annually, we successfully removed the excessive polydatmac from the silicon and added a carbon nanomaterial to GQD silicon composite. For analysis, we used the SEM, TEM, FTIR, XRD, XPS, and Raman spectroscopy. From Figure 3, the synthesized OH GQDs have a diameter of 6.51 nm and a lattice spacing of 0.21 nm in TEM images. Also in FTIR spectrum, we could investigate peaks caused by OH bonds, CL bonds, CC bond, and CH bond. Figure 4 shows a comparison of FTIR spectra of the GQD silicon composite before and after annealing. We could have investigated the peaks caused by NH bond, CN bond, CCL bond in the composite before annealing disappeared when it comes to the one after annealing. In figure 5, silicon particles are surrounded by carbon nanomaterials, however, we can't observe OH GQDs due to their small size. So we conducted a TEM analysis where we can observe OH GQDs in the composite. In figure 6C and 6F, there are GQDs on the surface of the silicon particles. In figure 7, there are carbon characteristic peaks from 27 and 44, OH GQDs peaks from 32 and 38, and silicon peaks from 28.4 and 56.1 degree. So we confirmed that the synthesized composites consist of OH GQDs, silicon, and carbon nanomaterials. In figure 8, B and 8E, we could notice the differences between the two composites. The composite using CNFs in figure 8b contain the hybridization function of the sp3cc bond, which cannot be found in 8e. Also, the pi pi bond in 8e, which appeared due to electron delocalization in CNTs, cannot be found in 8b. In figure 9, the intensity radio of the composite using CNFs 1.14 was higher than the one using CNTs 1.03. In conclusion, the synthesized composites have an innovative architecture composed of carbon nanomaterials for conductivity, silicon for high theoretical capacity, and OH GQDs for the bridging role. The fabricated OH GQDs show the diameter of 6.51 nm and a lattice spacing of 0.21 nm in TAM images. The FTIR spectra of GQD silicon composite before and after annealing indicated that the excessive polydatmic was removed by annealing. The intensity radio of GQD silicon CNFs is higher than that of the GQD silicon CNTs suggesting that the composite using CNTs has better crystallinity than the one using CNFs. We expected that these composites can be applied as anode materials in LIDs. Thank you for listening.